Welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah with Sarah's Hearts Home. I'm so glad you're here today with me as we just go through a beautiful fall day in the life. This is my favorite time of year. Well, I love summer too, but I will not lie. The summer heat here in Tennessee gets to be quite oppressive come end of August. And by mid-September, I am so happy to start welcoming the cooler temperatures and the lower humidity. So that is what I am absolutely loving right now, is just the cooler mornings where you can throw on a cardigan and those cooler evenings where you can snuggle up in a blanket with a hot cup of tea. And today I just wanted to take you along with me. We're going to visit the greenhouse. We're going to, um, trying to think of everything that we did. <laughs> we are going to make chai tea concentrate and spoiler alert, it is delicious. So you're not going to want to miss that. We're also going to make a delicious, um, apple puff pancake in a skillet, which was like an apple pie pancake for breakfast. It was so good. And just a whole lot of different odds and ends in between. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite part of fall is. And without further ado, let's hop on into the video. <laughs> so glad you're here. So one thing I got going last night is fermented garlic with honey and I've heard a lot about this um, many different years in the past but just have not mixed it up myself. It's just as simple as garlic cloves with honey, raw honey over the top and you just kind of shake it every couple of days to really infuse the honey with the garlic. And then you'll take about a teaspoon a day during the cold and, and flu season that is upon us. I don't know about you guys, but it seems like all the sicknesses have started with a vengeance very early. And I'm just trying to um, get prepared as much as I can. Some sicknesses hit our family, it's just been kind of rough. They're, they're not terrible. It's just enough to, 
take you out of the playing field for a little bit. So you know how that goes with a big family, especially it just takes a long time to get through everybody. <laughs> anyway, so I made the garlic honey in hopes that that would help to boost immune systems and we can make it more easily through the sickness season. <laughs> um, well, I'll show you. Okay. So, I got I got a pad here, but there was Snickers footprint here. There was? Mm-hmm. And, and there's another that. Snickers footprint here. Down in the tunnel? Yeah. And then in the middle of the tunnel, there's a really small footprint. Who's there? What do you think went down in there? Smaller than ever. Looks like a Snickers footprint, but squirrel size. <gasps> Maybe it was a squirrel. I mean, I did see a squirrel. Running right down there. Maybe the squirrel was checking out your tunnel. <laughs> Are you having fun in your new sandbox? He is loving his sandbox. Hannah's down doing the chores. It's a nice cool morning. The garden is definitely taking on that late summer, early fall kind of look. Rebecca is going for a walk with the dogs. Not sure how she's going to make it past the gals though because Anna just fed them, but I guess that's how. She's got the dogs to help her. Looking good. Everyone needs a shoulder to cry on. Everyone needs a helping hand. Everyone needs someone to rely on. Yes, everyone needs a friend. So let's come together, celebrate each other, stand united as one. We lift our hands up and pray, lay all our love before Him with all of our faith. Oh, Snickers! <laughs> up, up. He's dancing! I really Go like it. <laughs> for school outside look at this we've got roses on the table oh my does that make it better and dogs and doggies it's such a beautiful day outside it's so nice to be able to be outside and do school don't do it don't do it <laughs> swimming, an imitation of the customs and habits of our fathers. We had pretend fights with mud balls and willow wands. We played lacrosse, made war upon bees, shot winter arrows, which were used only in that season, and coasted upon the ribs of animals and buffalo robes. Um, it was considered out of place to shoot by first sighting the object aimed at it. This was hugely impracticable in actual life at full gallop. Therefore, it was the offhand shot that the Indian boy sought to map. <gasps> wow! Look at that! I love it! I'm sitting on a chair. Okay. 
Baker's one of my waffles. Oh, look, you even have all the little lines in the waffle. I love it. Does Snickers have ears? No. Oops. <laughs> I love it, though. He just needs ears, right? Man, you are a good little artist. I love it. Show me when you're done. Perfect. Look at that. I love it. He's got ears now. That's great. What a great picture, and you did your letters so well. Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a dying ember should have gotten more they're just so gorgeous well I'm deciding should I put these all along the back porch here I think that this looks pretty nice it would help fill in like this little planter box here along the porch so it's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment but then I don't have any for um, anywhere else yeah, then I don't have any for like um, my flower pots or in front of the house and anything. I'm, I, I think I'm just going to have to go get some more. Don't you think so? I really, really like these. Moms are so pretty. They're $5 a piece and um, I just love this little greenhouse near me. Um, the folks are really friendly and uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to figure out here. I'm going to have to go through the black fabric and plant, so get busy. Dancing through the last days of September
Well, I planted this planter here. Well, I just added a mum to it, I guess. So that's done. And then I have one over here as well. And then I ended up planting four here on the back um, planter area. I'll just have to add some more as I can. I love that color. It's called coral. Isn't that pretty? So I've got two of those. And then two of these, um, kind of like a lemon ice color. I really like that as well. So I'll probably get a few more here so I can have some out front and maybe a couple more out here as well. But I am liking it. <laughs> share a delicious chai tea concentrate recipe with you all. It's just sort of the epitome of fall, I would have to say. And so we're just going to go ahead and make that now. We're going to take six cups of water along with a half a cup of brown sugar or honey and we're going to heat that up on the stove and then we're going to add all kinds of delicious spices. Um, they're they're going to be whole spices, so that's going to be so good. Once our water is heated and all the sugar is dissolved, we will add in our spice pods. We have whole um, how do you say this? Star anise or star anise? I've heard it pronounced both ways, but anyway, we are going to use a few of those. I'm using some um, cloves, cardamom. Now, I think that the original recipe just calls for the seeds, and these are actually the whole pods. I did break some open, and the seeds are mm, pretty, pretty tiny. <laughs> And we're going to be using some allspice. This stuff smells so good. Some whole cinnamon sticks. And then I'm going to be using a vanilla bean. Um, it says vanilla extract. And I'll use some of that too probably, but I'm going to use a vanilla bean. And then you're supposed to use some fresh ginger. But I keep forgetting to get fresh ginger. So this is going to be candy ginger. It has a very strong candy flavor or strong ginger flavor so that's what I'm going to be using and we're going to be simmering this for 20 minutes and then afterwards we'll remove from the heat and we'll add in our um, black tea bags let it steep for 10 minutes and then strain everything out this concentrate will keep in the refrigerator for um, like three weeks 
And to serve it, you will just mix two parts of the concentrate along with one part of the milk of your choice. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this tastes. I bet it's going to be delicious. A friend of mine um, has made it several times already and just has rave reviews. So I had to get all my spices. <laughs> tastes amazing it tastes so delicious I think we're about ready to put our tea bags in and let it steep for 10 minutes Alright friends, shall we make ourselves a cup of chai tea? <clears throat> I'm very excited for this. Got my mug and my chai tea concentrate. It's still quite hot. So it's two parts of the chai. And then one part milk. A little half and half in there as well. And there we go. My cup of chai. All right, I really think we should try it together. <laughs> Oh goodness, that's the best chai tea I've ever had. It's <laughs> so good, so good. Mm. Oh my goodness, this is so good. I'm so glad I made it. So delicious. Next time, I'm gonna um, put my milk through the frother on my little espresso machine and make it like hot and all frothy because that would be over the top I should have done that now but anyway so good guys you've got to try this mm. highly recommend 10 out of 10 well guys I'm so glad you joined me today for this video I hope that it was relaxing to your soul <laughs> and that you are having a great start to fall and I am feeling it. I am so happy for this season and the cozy sweaters and the beautiful fall leaves, the apples, all the beautiful fragrances of fall. I just, I just love it. It just does not last nearly long enough. The humidity is waning here in Tennessee and for that I am so very thankful. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless. Bye-bye.